working on a new phonics skill. Last week we learned the CK rule, and this week we're going to be learning a new rule. But before we get to that, I want to warm up our brains so we're thinking about letters and the sounds that they make, and we're going to do our three-part drill. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. M says M. Mm. G says G. H says H. E says E and E. Good job if you remember to open and close the gate. S says S. W H says V says M. Z Z says Z. I says I and I. U says A and U. L L says L. N says N. H says ch. D says d. K says k. O says a and o. J says j. R says r. W says w. Says b. P says p. Y says y. T H says th. And th. Remember? Both sounds. Good job. C K says k. C says k. Q says qu F, F says X says X A says A and A S H says sh L says U T says says z and p h says great job all right friends let's go ahead and start part two of our drill where i will tell you a sound you will use your finger to write the letter or letters that make that sound so remember when you're writing it you're just using your finger on a piece of furniture or the carpet you're writing the letter and you're underlining it so let's do a practice one. How about the sound is b? You would write with your finger b says b, and you would underline it when you're finished. You ready? Okay, let's get started. First one s s says s. Good. Next one, the sound is f. You know two ways to make the sound says and f f says great job the sound is mm. m says mm. good job the sound is p says the sound is oh you know two ways to make the sound l says The sound is ch. C H says ch. Good job. The sound is sh. S H says sh. Great job. The sound is w. You know two ways to make this sound. W says w and W H says w. 
the sound is ah. A says ah. The sound is i. I says i. The sound is ah. O says ah. The sound is er. R says er. And that brings me to what I want to practice next. All right? The new phonics rule that we are learning this week is another way to make the er sound. Now we know that R says er, but sometimes you hear the er sound in a word and it's more than just an R. There's actually three other ways to make this er sound, but this week we're gonna be working on ER. Okay, so when you see ER stuck together, it says er. This can be found in the middle of a word. It can also be found at the end of a word. This is the most common way to make the er sound in a word. So let's do some practice. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, let's do some practicing on our blending board with this er er sound. So like I said, it can be in the middle of the word or it can be at the end of a word. Let's look at this one. Er, her. Is this er at the end or the middle of this word? That's right, it's at the end. Her, okay? Let's look at another word. Er, d, heard. Is this er in the middle or at the end of the word? That's right, this time it's in the middle. Heard. Let's look at another one. How about now? Fern. Fern. Is it in the middle or at the end? In the middle, that's right. Fern. How about another one? not have heard of Bert, but that can be someone's name, like Bert and Ernie. Bert. Is the ER in the middle or at the end of this word? That's right, it's in the middle. Okay, so you can see some examples of ER being at the end of a word and at the middle of the word. Okay, let's do some more practice with some ER words where the ER is at the end. Sometimes it can be in the middle, but more commonly you'll see it at the end of a word. So let's take a look at this word, under. You can see the ER is at the end of the word. Let's practice pounding and tapping this one. Remember, when you pound and tap out a word, you use the hand that you do not hold a pencil in. So for me, that's my left hand, and that's for most of you too, but we do have a few people in our classroom who pound with their right hand, okay? So are you ready? Get your hand ready. I'm ready, here we go. The word is under. Under is two syllables, so we're gonna do this in two sections. Ready? Under. So the first one, un, uh, n. So we would say you in, and then the next one was der. So we would say d, er, d, e, r. Okay, so under, you in, d, e, r. Good, let's try another one. How about the word sister? Let's try that one, I'll write it here for you. I want you to be thinking about pounding and tapping sister. All right, let's take a look at this one. Here's the word sister. Let's pound and tap, ready? Sis. Her. Let's do the first one. Sis, s, i, s. So that would be s, i, s. The next one, ter, t, er. So t, e, r. Let's try it all together. Sister. Ready? S, i, s, t, er. S, i, s, t, e, r. Good job. Let's try one more. 
about, let me think of another word we could do. Hmm. How about, oh, I like this one, whisper. I want you to be thinking about how we will pound and tap whisper. Let's take a look at this one. There we go. Whisper. Okay. Whisper. First one is whis. So wh i s. So that would be w h i s. Next one was per. Per. P er. P e r. So if we did it all together, it would be whisper. Wh i s. P er. W h i s p e r. Good job. Those ones at the end, when you hear that er sound, it's almost always going to be e r. Okay, so your job today is to read a poem that has some e r words in it. The poem is going to look like this. It's called Spring Rain. And you are going to first read the poem to yourself. And anytime you see a word that has ER stuck together, you're going to highlight it. When you get finished highlighting all of the ER words, then I want you to record yourself reading it. Now when you read it, I want you to sound nice and smooth like a storyteller or like you're singing in a song. Okay? Make sure you're using good inflection in your voice, making your voice go up and down so it's interesting to listen to and so it doesn't sound like a robot. When you get finished reading it, I also want you to tell us how many ER words you found in the poem Spring Rain. Good luck!